guys, I'm Ian and I'd like to talk about one of my 3D prints and this time I'm talking about this. This is the fighter plane from my Galactic British Empire playset. Um, anybody that's kind of watched previous videos might be thinking, we've seen that before Ian. Um, so uh, yeah, you've seen this one before but I, uh, I decided that I might want to print a bigger one. Um, conversations with Tom Jackson, as usual, brought this, this uh, idea to pr print one bigger. Um, but then, uh, also, how do you do that? So I've got a CR10. Could I just print it bigger on a CR10? Well, yeah, I could, but it, would it be significantly bigger? No, it wouldn't. So um, the, the obvious way to do it is to split it up into various parts. Um, so that's what I did. Having done that, I then uh, decided that I actually wanted to print it on the Creality Ender 3. Um, the, the printer had, uh, has just been here, uh, just arrived. I'd done a couple of test prints on it, and uh, I really wanted to, you know, give it a, a proper test. So, uh, so that's what we did. I scaled the parts so that they would fit on the Ender Three's uh, bed, and uh, I finished up with with a lot of these. So this part actually relates. Uh, if you see on the model, this is actually kind of down in this area, and. As you can see, it's a significantly bigger. The uh, some features that you might notice on here is that uh, we've got registration marks. There are the corresponding dimples, I guess, on the other side, and the idea of that being that it makes it easy for me to line the prints up uh, to get the various parts together for gluing, which is uh, what my plan is to do. The, uh, the the other thing you have know, I guess, I guess with this is that I, I was trying to think of what colour to to actually print this in, and it struck me that I didn't actually want it to be all one colour. The, for one thing, I really don't like finishing three D prints. I, I I do actually like the finish that you get, and I like the various colours and uh, uh, you know there's some sparkle, some not that you get in filaments, and I really love playing with that. I, I'm not such a fan of filling, sanding. Fill in again, sand in again, etc. Painting, uh, not really my bag. So uh, I'll leave that to others. Uh, so the 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 thing that seemed really obvious to me was to make it obvious that they're actually printed with, uh, with different filaments. So I, I went on the for a, a patchwork kind of design, and so every part is printed in a different colour. And I, I think I, I actually uh, I think it came out quite well. Um, as you can see, as I say, this is how they uh, how they fit together, and there's there's maybe a little bit of play, but that should make it uh, an awful lot easier to glue it together. So speaking of which, um, I really should get to doing that. Um, so maybe time for a time lapse. Okay, so I'll be the first to admit that I'm not an expert when it comes to gluing things together. Uh, I started off, I was going to use the um, just normal 
super glue and then I thought man let's have a dig around in the uh, in the boxes that I packed when I moved house and uh, found uh, this stuff that I actually got from Pongo uh, Pongo store by, in the UK here and it was a free sample at the time that we were giving out and it's a, a specifically a PLA glue so you've got PLA gel adhesive and then an activator I think they go together I can't find the packaging or, or whatever and I can't really remember but um, and I think I was using them the right way possibly who knows uh, but it seemed to work so uh, I, I've glued it all together it's uh, I can hold it up but I'm nervous as hell because I'm, I still think that it probably needs to set some more but uh, as you can see this is the finished item and I think the I have to go back a bit I think the patchwork um, motif came out quite well that's nice uh, I'll hold it just proper there the canopy fits on great um, so I say overall I am really happy with it one thing to point out so all of these as I say were, were printed on the Corella and the 3 I think it did a great job um, all the different colours I'm really happy with the uh, I did have one issue and it wasn't a fault of the printer I actually had a, a power outage happen during the uh, uh, printing of this piece here and if you can just see um, there is a line there because unfortunately it was right on the edge but what I didn't realize when I had the power outage I was just coming back in and thinking oh I'll just print that again um, it, there's actually uh, the power resume function on the, on the Corality Ender 3 it must have just uh, passed me by that, that, that functionality was there so when I've turned the power back on, it asked me if I wanted to resume the print. And I said, hi, hi, go on, do it. So uh, it started off, unfortunately, there's a, just as I say, there's a little bit of a, uh, a mismatch in there. It, depending on what you were using that for, that function um, is depending on and kind of whether you like it. If I wanted this to be an absolute pristine print, then you would have been uh, disappointed by, uh, by what it did on there. If it was just a functional print, it really wouldn't matter. In this case, um, I think it adds a bit of character because um, I, I'll always remember that that was the, uh, where the power went out. So uh, it's good from that point of view. Overall, um, I, I've not actually gone back and looked at the, uh, the, the estimates on the G-codes and I didn't take note while I was actually printing it, which is uh, my bad. But I think you've got about 90 hours worth of printing on there of the, all the various parts. Uh, it was there or thereabouts. So uh, overall, uh, a really good project. Um, something I enjoyed doing, as I say, kind of uh, pushed the, the end of three um, over that, that first uh, couple of weeks that I had it. Um, one of the things that does happen when you print, I, I guess when you print anything, or when you go back and look at models that you've done before, is that you start seeing things that you think, oh, you know, I don't really like that. Um, this was very much kind of done to be in the style of the, the Galactic British Empire playset, which is a bit quirky, British kind of style. So it was never meant to be a sleek fighter plane, but um, I kind of wanted it to be. So when I went back of it, I, at the moment, I'm also um, starting to look at the, uh, the second phase of models for the Galactic British Empire playset. So... Um, the, what seemed like a, an obvious idea was to go back and actually revisit this model. So having done this, and as I say, I absolutely love, I love the patchwork um, effect on it, and that will be going proudly on display. But having done that, I then opened up the model and, uh, and fiddled with it. So um, what I came up with was the, the Mark II version. And this, I will get closer to the camera for this because I, I do really like it. So you see the sleeker, uh, look on there, the canopy's a lot sleeker, the um, little details like the um, the cannons at the uh, at the front there, I've made those bigger so that they print nicer on the original model, um, I wasn't that happy with them, they um, didn't print great, they actually printed alright on the big one, well, funnily enough, but they didn't print great I don't think, so uh, again tweak that. And then there's there's lots of other little tweaks. The uh, the base is actually uh, the base is actually kind of quite significantly tweaked. There's a bit of a profile on where it wasn't uh, there before. I've now built in 
the skids so that it can actually sit without needing uh, the extra parts put in, which were kind of, you know, do you want to glue them in? Do they stick out too much? Um, overall, uh, it's a kind of lower profile on a lot of it. And as I say, just that little bit more detail, the scallop in there coming out, and uh, I really like it. So that is uh, probably going to be the first model that I release from phase or uh, wave two of the Galactic British Empire playset. And as I say, I'm really pleased with it. This, um, as with all of the Galactic British Empire models, when I first print them, and the uh, uh, what they're designed for um, is always filamentum. So this is pearl ruby red, which I think is an absolutely gorgeous colour. And then obviously gold happens on there, which again um, just stands out. I think they actually work really well together. So um, overall, really pleased with that. Um, it's not the only one I've printed, I've printed another one and you know that, that's probably not the squadron reader, he didn't even get a gold canopy. But as I say, little details on the back are different as well. Um, but I was really pleased with that and that is it's probably it's probably the model that I wish the uh, the original one would have been. So um, as I say that will go in as the as a mark two and I will release that um, fairly soon. So if you made it this far, as always, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you taking the time and uh, if you like this video I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and obviously I would really really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content than like this then uh, that would make me happy so thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time guys